Okay, hello and welcome back again to the same day of Shades. I'll be back today again. All right. Which is Sunday. I'm going to have to say it. I can't help it. <laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> and I realized this setup. Oh, I meant to tell you all this a while ago when I did that introduction for a video of it. Instead of, see, my little camera is not on my tripod, which is in the vase of baubles and rocks. Because sitting on my table, it makes it go way up high, and I have to do this, and that hurts my neck. I was pulling the chair over here and sitting in it, but it's kind of a little tad bit lower, and I'm looking down a little bit instead of, like, straight in it. And then that's kind of wobbly and falls. Well, I feel like it's going to fall. It moves a lot. But anyway... And earlier when I first started, I was really hurting bad in the beginning of that video. I think that's kind of calmed down a little bit. Even though I am hurting, I feel some pain right back here in my back. Um, but I feel like that's calmed down a little bit. But earlier when I started and I was really hurting, I didn't feel like getting up and dragging the chair over here and putting my camera, because it wasn't on my tripod at the time, putting it on there and setting it there and blah, blah, blah to get it all set up. So instead, guess what I did? Because <laughs> I didn't want to... Hang on, guys, and these... <sighs> I hope I'm not getting sick. Lord, I don't need another cold. I don't need the flu. I don't need a virus. Please, Jesus, in your name, don't let me get sick. Jesus. Poor little Gracie all day yesterday and the day before. She was sneezing and right, her nose was running. And then yesterday, she started feeling warm like she had some fever. She still played and stuff, but she you could tell she was starting to feel a little bad. I hope it ain't getting sick either. And then me and her eats after each other. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I didn't want to go do that. So this is what I've done. Y'all know my purse that I have? My Rubik's Cube purse. So it's kind of tall, okay? And it's a square. I got it off my dresser in the bedroom and I set it right here on my table. Then I've got my, that wasn't tall enough, so I laid my cell phone on that. That wasn't tall enough, because I just wanted something level to just set my camera on, my little camera, instead of holding it. Because if I hold it, it's still, I'm still going to move and be wobbly in my arm. I get tired and hurt, you know, and I knew that was going to be a long video. I'm for sure it was. Four videos of it. But anyway, so, <clears throat> I really do still just want to know why that changes back and forth. It shows a moon. I don't know if it's a half moon or quarter moon or what. But then it shows a star beside it. But then it'll change from that. And it shows like it's showing a little square picture. And in the corner above that little square picture is a little moon and star. And that's weird. It doesn't want to move. I really do wish somebody that knew about cameras would tell me why that does that. I know Gracie gets a hold of my camera and she mashes buttons and she's probably messed something up. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. So I got my purse, set it here. I got my cell phone and put it on top of it. Still wasn't tall enough. I wanted it level. And I mean right here at my face. It's still not quite because y'all see how the top of my face is cut off. And I am not, wrong way, in the middle of my camera. And now that actually frets me. So anyway... So still, the top of my head's cut off unless I back up or lean back. But I can't sit like that. I hurt. So anyway, um, so I just kept going. So I grabbed two books then and laid it on top of my cell phone on top of my purse. And that still wasn't tall enough. So then I got, and I'll show it to you so you'll know what I mean. So give me just a minute here. It was mine for my hobby doc. No. Hobby Horse Club. I forget how I named it now. Because that's how I would start and end my meetings. Albert had made this for me. I had him too. Well, now Gracie Girl plays with it, so I call it hers. She loves to play with it. So I got this, and this one still wasn't tall enough, so I got this. And I put my camera on top of this. That's where I'm having it set. And it's got barely my head cut off, so that's how I have my camera set. So hang on. Let me put this back fix it back <laughs> so anyway uh, so since I made the four video long 
things for the introduction of the new way I'm going to vlog. I have took those four off my camera and put them onto my laptop the way I normally always do. Then I decided to get the instructions that my sister, Becca, the Becca JB, gave me. Well, I wrote them down, but she told me she showed me what to do. And it took a little bit. I think I almost forgot some of them, the way I write things down, just how to do it. And I even had to delete it a couple of times and start back over. But I think I've got it going. So I am trying to upload... I'm showing it to you. So this is what it looks like. Y'all hang on. I'm trying to get this in my hand right so y'all can see. And it is still plugged up. So that's what it looks like. Becca, You, uh, when you see this, let me know if you think this is right. Is this what it should look like? It's showing a big video there. Showing a bunch of little pictures over here. Several little videos. It's four of them. And then it's doing this. And I guess it's going to take a long time to upload. So, does it look like I'm doing it right, Becca? I hope so. Now, after this saves like this, I'm not sure. Am I here where it says save video? Or have I, because I know I named something, but do I have to name something again? Because here is save it here. So, I'm not sure where I'm at. Or once it does this, Will it be through saving it here, and all I'd have to do then is upload it on YouTube? Let me know, Becca. Okay? Alright, so I'm trying to do this and see if I can get that to work. Let me get this back up here again and get my screen turned back around so I can see myself so I know that y'all are seeing me. Alright, hold that up and put it back over here. Um, so I got that going and did that. Then I looked at my chart, my... I don't know why I said chart. My schedule in my planner. I'm still trying to get that set. Okay. So I looked at my schedule and marked things off that I'd done and seen where I was at in my day. And uh, I hadn't read my Bible yet. Now sometimes I'm going to explain something to y'all. So I told y'all I'm going to be totally honest with y'all. Even though I have my schedule wrote down in a certain order, and that's how I want to do it, and a, a lot of times I get it done that way, but sometimes on days when I'm really hurting and I really feel bad, I don't feel like jumping right into reading my Bible and that sort of thing. So I kind of like, I don't not do it for the day. I postpone it, if I'm even saying that right excuse me, to a later time in the day when I feel more like it and I go on to the next thing that I really don't mind doing, you know. So, I do that with the exercising, walking thing. I'm going to try not to. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to go walking here. Of course, it's 418 now, so I need to... Do y'all hear that bird whistling? I don't know why I love to hear birds. My laptop just went black. What's happening? Uh, it came back on. There's a box. It says Movie Maker. There are missing or unusable files. See what I mean? I don't know how to do nothing. I can't do nothing. I can't make it work, Becca. My lap! There are missing or unusable files in your Movie Maker project that are preventing your movie from being saved. Please check that file preparation is enabled in options or remove the files and try again. See what I mean? Stupid dumb me. Don't know how to do nothing. Try it. Can't do it. So I guess I'm just going to have to upload them separately. Becca, if you know anything about that or what to do and how to do it and you think you can help me do it over phone not being here. I know that's the hardest thing in the world too. And don't mind if you don't mind helping me. I'm sorry. I'm always asking you for help. I guess just forget about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody wants to help me. Anyway, see? I'm being honest. I'm giving y'all my true feelings here. Alright. Well, I'm just going to stop this. Not worry about it. and Just upload them separately. But yeah, it does aggravate me. Do you want to save changes to this movie? No! 
get out of here and leave me alone. So I can continue to do what I want to do and upload my videos. So I'm going into YouTube. And um, I'm just going to do it the way I normally do it. Upload them separately. Three videos, 20 minutes long. And the last fourth video is 13 minutes something. I think I remember it saying. So here we go. I'm putting it on private. And I'm a hitting upload. I gotta go in and find that exact video though. So I gotta go to. Hmm. I'm just gonna do it like this. It's not in the Sunday file. I usually put it in the Sunday file first. I'll do that later. So here we go. Upload number one. It's gonna take forever. I may not get them all four up tonight unless it's late tonight. But anyway, there you go. Alright. Let's get back to where we was at now. Where was we at? What was we doing? What was I saying? I think I was talking about, and I think this is tilted down a little more. Let me see if I could do something. Let's pull this out here, where hopefully it tilts up. Pull this out here, and then, can I match that button and make that do that? Sorry, I got my thumb in the way. It needs to be tilted. That is bugging me that it's not tilted up anymore. What can I slide underneath there that will tilt? Just a little bit more. I'm gonna use a thing of uh, what are these matches? Now see, that's got it too, huh? Ow! There went my hip again. Oh, oh! I'm turning around to make it this way. I think we got it. <laughs> All right. Um. Mm, yep. Yeah. I postpone things until later in the day when I feel more like it. I think that's where it was at. No. Yeah. I told you. Oh, my hip. Mmm. I need help, y'all. I need help. Mama, don't tell me that I may need a hip replacement. That's what scares me to death. I don't think I could handle that. I don't think I could go through with that. I was there with you, Mama, when you did yours. I sat right there beside that nurse when she explained to you how it was going to be and how you was going to have to be, and that was scaring me to death, and I don't think I can do it. <laughs> don't tell me I may need a hip replacement. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Even though this hurts bad, I really think I could deal with this. Then I hit replacement. Things like it just scared me to death. Anyway, so I started trying to put that up, and you see how it happened and how it ended, and so now I'm doing it separately. I don't want to move that. I was going to show you. It's uploading a video on YouTube, the separate, the one part video, first video clip, 20 minutes long. Then, like I said, I looked at my schedule and seen where I was at checked off and updated that. I needed to read my Bible. I hadn't read it yet. And then I was explaining to y'all that when I don't feel good and I'm in pain, I don't do it right then. I postpone it and do the next thing, wait a little bit later in the day, but I do get to it and read it. So I decided, okay, I need to read my Bible. I'm going to read my Bible. So I got my Bible and read it. And that's where we're at. I finished reading my Bible. I marked that off on my schedule and I decided to do another video clip. Which is already 14 minutes long, y'all. Forget that I said it would be little uh, short videos like, you know, seconds long and a minute and something and two minutes and something. Because it's going to take me forever just to explain one little old big thing I did just now. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can do this and just make it one video. I wanted to explain something to y'all. Our pastor at our church... Even though I don't go very much and all that, but I still claim that it's my church and my pastor. I'm trying to get this thing open here right where it goes to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Our pastor has got us doing for this whole year. He started it at the beginning of the year in January. And um, I guess you would call it kind of like a Bible study thing, but it lasts all year long. Really and truly, you know how all churches at the beginning of the new year and they hand out this sheet of paper that has a list of, um, it's you reading the whole Bible within one year. So it's different chapters, you know, for each day, what to read and all. So he decided he was going to do it different this year, and I quite like it. <laughs> so um, it's not us getting through the whole Bible in one year. Uh, the actual, because he printed out a bunch of these books, okay, and everybody gets one, and uh, it is called PG-52. So instead of a whole year, let me read this again. PG is for Pine Grove, I think, because the name of our church is Pine Grove Pentecostal. And, um, United Pentecostal Church, because there it is right there. Wait, wait a minute, what is that? Nope, that's that. Okay. Y'all give me a minute. It's going to go over 20. That's the forward explaining it, I guess, or something. I don't know. Week one. Today's, well, this week's that I read was week 14. So we've been in it that long. So what it is, PG is for Pine Grove. So it's called Pine Grove 52. I think 52 is that months? Is that days in the year? A year is 360 something. I can't remember what now, y'all. I'm sorry. And usually at the beginning of the year, they try you, they give you that list and want you to read the Bible, whole Bible in one year. Well, this is doing it in 52 for the whole year. So is that days or weeks or months? I don't know. Y'all do the math. I'm not a math person. So anyway, it's called PG. 52 PG is for Pine Grove, and then it's got Psalms 119 and 11, and it says, Thy word, I can't read backwards, y'all, hang on. Thy word I have hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. So that's what it says right there. So it's a booklet. So what we do every week, so see, this it's Pine Grove. United Pentecostal Church. All right. So we... This is what it starts out. Week one. And it has like the name of it. It's over here. And it explains. And then it has your memory verse. And then it has the actual chapter that we'll be reading. So this the first week it was Ephesians chapter 4. And so it don't go in order either, okay? And you don't get the whole Bible in one year. So it's got all the verses. They printed it out in here. So this is actually the Bible right here, what you're reading. And this is King James Version, okay? So, they have all this... If I keep getting this... Oh, I wanted to do this in one video. Um, they have all the, the verses printed out. It took two pages to do it on because there's 32 in that chapter. You read the whole thing. And then at the bottom, you have, it says this, confession thing. And it reads there, it's like you are saying this, okay, and promising this to God. And then it also, which it's, that's that, right? The confession thing, yeah. So then they have blanks and it says thoughts, insight. What is the Lord saying to me? So then you're supposed to write down what you think you got out of reading that Bible verse. And that's something, I know I wrote something here. I tried starting out doing it. But I, that's something I've always, that's always been hard for me to do. So I have not done it on all of them. But then at the bottom, because it continued over here. So at the bottom under that, if you'll notice right here, it's got, and my light dimmed. It's got every day of the week. And a blank bite for you to check mark. So every day that week, you read that one same chapter. 
and you don't just read it. You think about it.